Statistically speaking, small businesses fail within a few years of starting, some from those very first examples that I just gave. Andreas Wetzel is our guest today on Callum Connect's micro podcast. Andreas is the founder, president, and winemaker of Wetzel Estate Winery and has been a serial entrepreneur for over 33 years. Well, thank you, Callum, and the Veblen Directors Program for inviting me to speak on your podcast. A hurdle that I faced as a young entrepreneur was that I launched our company with very limited resources. What that meant to me was I had to be extremely resourceful and creative in how to manage the company's cash flow, as well as how to leverage the cash we did have. Over the years, I developed a number of methodologies for being creative and getting the word out on what we were doing. Guerrilla marketing was by far one of my favorite tools that I used to achieve those goals. Whether that was just simply posting flyers in high traffic local haunts, attending consumer outreach events, or simply offering up my assistance to the community to gain connections became my tools of the trade. Looking back 33 years ago when I started the company that I currently own, the resources at my disposal were very different from what we have available to us today to be able to achieve those same goals with social media, the internet, and programs such as the Veblen Directors Platform. We just didn't have any of those kind of tools at that time. So being able to network with like-minded individuals, um, even if they come from different fields, different backgrounds, different cultures, or even walks of life, is just incredibly uh, impactful and hard to measure uh, when it comes to your growth potential. And, you know, as entrepreneurs, we are by and far natural risk takers. And as such, we make mistakes. Whether from sheer inexperience, a profound belief that what you have in mind will work, or that you're just plain downright stubborn. And I like to call myself quite bullheaded, and I'm sure if you ask my wife, she would agree with you 100%. But as we make mistakes and we grow from them, we develop wisdom on how to tackle future challenges as well as future opportunities. Statistically speaking, small businesses fail within a few years of starting, some from those very first examples that I just gave. But I'm proud to be a part of a community of business owners that make up such a large percentage of the global workforce and who employ people in those communities. Now what I truly love about business and those of individuals who operate them is that if there is a problem to be worked out, a solution to be solved, or a new approach to making the world a better place, it likely will come from accomplished efforts and the entrepreneurial spirit that we all embrace as business owners. So I'll leave you with those thoughts uh, and I hope that I provided you some value in taking the time out to listen to this podcast. Thank you. If you enjoyed this podcast and would like to find more inspiring information about entrepreneurs around the world doing incredible things, make your way to enterprisezone.cc. 